Hey everybody, it's Stormy Iris, and welcome back to more Sonic the Hedgehog. Last time, we finished up Shadow Story. Unfortunately, we weren't exactly able to take down Mephiles. This time, though, we're starting over. Kind of. We're starting Silver Story today. Now, of course, Silver Story is the last of the three of the trio. And... With starting a new story, it means I have to start back with basics, but silver is a bit different, and I'll go into that without really going into too much more detail. Let's start! Episode Silver! This world was devastated before I was born. A harsh, bleak place where we live in eternal darkness. Life is a struggle, and people live without hope. How did this happen? No one will answer me directly, but they always point to the flames. These flames, they burn away at my world, destroying everything in their path. They come from an eternal life form that we cannot truly defeat. The flames of disaster known as Iblis. Please, what's wrong? He's appeared again! Alright, as if my nightmare just doesn't want to end, welcome to Crisis City, but this time as Silver. Silver's abilities are a lot different from the two other hedgehogs that we've seen in this game. While Sonic has speed and a really cool homing attack, Silver has, or I mean Shadow also has, you know, the homing attack but really cool chaos powers, Silver has telekinesis, he's a telekinesis hedgehog. Getting into this, I really, really do enjoy that opening scene for Silver. I wouldn't have never guessed. I definitely didn't play, you know, Silver as Silver the other two times. But no, I really do like that opening cutscene for Silver. The, the at least the opening, um... What do I got to do here? I would imagine so. Considering I just, just, you know, bent all the way over. Just kidding. Oh, I gotta do something really, really quick. Oh, so please don't hit me. And of course it hits me. Try to adjust my audio. How would you ever heard of having good audio balance? Oh, bye, Blaze. Okay, so here in the future, I really do like that opening cutscene for Silver. I think it's a very nice looking cutscene. And again, in a lot of ways, we don't really get to see how nice it looks in a in um, the CG sort of like or the CGI sort of thing. But it looks so good. I really do like the opening cutscene for this game, at least for Silver. Looking at Crisis City, completely like destroyed, but in like really, really nice cutscene, makes it look even better. It makes it look like it really is a barren wasteland. Like everything that was good and hopeful just was super deprived. It looks so good. I really do wish, like, if they ever do like make like a thing like this again. Where they use really nice CG cutscenes. Because I know they really don't. They use the in-game engine now to do cutscenes. Really, really do hope that they use CGI again. I, it's a really, really nice thing. And it looks super good. And Sega is really good at it. Like, really, really good. Like, yeah, the games aren't that good. But they make some of the best CG cutscenes in the game. In, any, in a lot of different games as well. Like, another big point I really want to point out. Like, a game that came after this was, um, Sonic Unleashed. Sonic Unleashed had beautiful CGI cutscenes. And the opening cutscene for Sonic Unleashed, that was a beautiful CG cutscene. CGI. And it wasn't like, 
anything short. Like, this game has short, short CGI cutscenes. Sonic Unleashes is an entire six minutes. Almost seven minutes. It's like an entire movie. Like, a, it's like an entire short movie animation. And it looks absolutely fantastic. And it's one of those cutscenes I always love to go look because it's like super awesome. And it, like, it weirds me out that like some of the games that like a lot of fans are a bit iffy about have some of the best cutscenes in the game. Like, um, another big point is like this game, especially. A lot of people don't like to say that this game is good. But my god, a lot of people do like to say that this, this game's CGI cutscenes are some of the best in the series. And of course, like having a nice music soundtrack, like. It hits ambiance and like the atmosphere, the like the world that the, the silver's in right now. It hits so good, and it's a really like really cool shame. Actually, it's not really really cool. It's like really, or I mean, it's like really cool that something like this game would have it, but not not like not a whole lot of the main like the more uh, modern games have it. Like, if they would have had like if it, if Sonic Forces is like this game. It, it, it focused on a very deep story, but um, had like the really cool CGI cutscenes. Maybe like to start off like an adventure or something. Like, start like, a, like start off like a section of the game, or like if like certain characters have you know more of an impact on the role, then it would you know divide things into their perspective and then like do that after. What hit me? Ugh. All right. No, you know it do be like that sometimes. But again, it's something like I really really do like and. I don't, I don't want to sit here and gush out the entire opening cutscene the entire episode, but... Ugh, so good. Alright, so getting to a bit of Silver's uh, abilities here, because I haven't gotten over that yet. These little circle pads, which oddly look like the shape on his hand. Definitely not coincidental at all, not that he would have intended for him to do that, no. Um, he has Psychokinesis abilities, like I mentioned before. Uh, Silver, though, can allow for major objects to be moved. Um, with his mind. Basically telekinesis. Um, but when it comes to things like, uh, oh, we're actually moving into the next big section here. Awesome. Um, it's really cool to, like, see, um, because certain aspects allow for certain abilities. Of course, you can pick things up and then throw them. Of course, Silver does have purchase purchasable upgrades as well. Um, that we'll be seeing at some point as well, as soon as we can get there. Um, but... I don't know, I really do like the idea of Silver's abilities. It's different, yes. Oh, oh actually, here. This is Blaze. I don't know if we were actually able to see a lot of Blaze. I think this is actually Blaze's first big appearance in the game. Of course, it's being, being in Silver's story, of course. She's integral to Silver's story. Blaze is a lot of ways like Sonic. She has a really cool double jump. She actually is... Blaze has actually had a other uh, role before this game. Uh, being, I believe, Sonic Rush. I, I think that's. I don't want to. I don't want to like feel like I'm getting it wrong here. Um, she actually has a minor homing attack too. It's really cool. Um, I believe it was Sonic Rush. She had a bit of a role in that game as well. She was like the counterpart to Sonic. Blaze is a princess from another dimension. She, her story is a bit different than uh, something like you know Silver's or Sonic's, or at least Shadow's. Um, she has the ability of fire, which that already makes you really cool. Um, but in a lot of ways, she is a lot like Sonic, and I think that's really cool to have, like... Of course, we had the female hedgehog being Amy. We know that Amy is a fangirl for Sonic, but I think it's really cool to have, like, um, a really cool female counterpart for Sonic. Well, it's not, like, a lot of people will say it's not Amy, but Amy does have her abilities, which help her out. Um, but to have something similar to Sonic, I think that's still really cool. Being Blaze, of course. Um, so I, I, it's really cool. I like to gush about a lot of things in Silver Story. Um, so, jumping through Crisis City again, um, as Blaze at least this time. Oh. Okay, there we go. I was wondering when you were going to stop. Oh, okay, so it seems I could just press X to do that. Okay. Do that, do that, take you out. All right, there we go. Is that all you've got? Huh? There we go. Oh, it was worth it. I got the extra life. Okay, doing it again. 
Do that. I love the chains that you can get off on this. Just like that. Your host's little whelp isn't going to be there. So we're going to have to take my wins and my losses here and just not be able to get it. There we go. Gonna actually double jump there, which actually comes in quite handy really well, actually. Um, it does come into a, like, really, really... It, it does help a lot to have that extra, you know, that extra double jump. But, jumping into the next section. This part should be silver, if I remember correctly. There's gonna be parts where we're gonna be playing as silver, and then we're gonna, there's gonna be parts where we're gonna be playing as blaze. Um, but again, because this is mostly silver story, we're gonna be mostly playing as silver. You can tell that silver is a lot slower. Yes. Silver is a lot slower than Shadow and Sonic. Um, but because that comes with the price of being able to use telekinesis. I don't think it really de is that detrimental. I think it really is, like, I think it's really cool, really, if anything. A lot of people do, don't like the idea that Silver is so slow. But, I mean, granted, he's not really, like, he, he doesn't really have the ideal, like, speed type. Is what I'm trying to say. Um, no, we're just gonna move on. I like the idea. I like the idea that, you know, Silver isn't fast, but Blaze is. Silver has the power, cool powers of telekinesis, Blaze does not. So I think it, I think it really does, like, you know, separate the two a lot. And I really do like the idea. I'm gonna, again, get into a little bit more, you know, the modern games. I really, ow, do like the idea that, um... For, for modern games, they really do, I really do like the idea that they place Sonic and Blaze, or not Sonic and Blaze, uh, Silver and Blaze together. Oh. Um, except for Sonic Forces, where Silver is in Sonic Forces, a lot of people really don't get the idea why. Of course, you can spam the A button, you can kind of make a little bit more progress without losing so much of the flight, but a lot of people don't really understand the reason why uh, Silver is in Sonic Forces, but it, my imagination goes as, you know, maybe... Maybe it runs that silver sort. Uh, silver's future is hurt by the future. Um, that's my idea. That's where I'm gonna place that for right now. Um, that's my idea. But I don't really understand why Blaze isn't there though, because Blaze and Silver are often placed together as well. So again, that's like the thing that kind of gets me a little bit weird. But I mean, granted though, it's their design. They do what they want. Oh crap! Um, can't right back at you, friend. Um, okay, I need some objects here. Get a load of this! Alright, cool. Alright, oh, there's a finish line right there. And, go in. Here we go. And that is the end of Crisis City! Yay! That wasn't that bad. I'll, I'll take that. That actually did pretty well. That's, what, a B rank? Okay, there's one point I want to get here. There's one thing I want to get. And I think you know what that is. But for right now, not too bad. Got our first thousand rings here. Not too, too bad. Now, we're going to get our first gold Soliana medal from Silver Story. Gold medal. Uh, save our data. Yes, please. Don't have to ask me twice. Never do. Indeed it will! Iblis! Nobody saw him before! Iblis now is a big boy. 
He's no, not just a little tiny little larva. He's actually a very big boy. All right, it blitz has multiple attacks, and this is the one I didn't want. All right. Ah! That's what I didn't want him to do. That's a stupid attack. I, that's what I will say. It's just like one of the worst ones. Okay. Iblis has multiple attacks. Are you doing it again? Iblis! Come on, buddy. Here we go. Him ring the noggin. That is his weak point. Yeah, you put that building down. That's enough. That's enough. Don't do it. I've never seen him do that twice in a row. Oh, I thought he was about to do it another time. He's doing it again! Iblis! Ah! Hey, right, here we go. A little bit on the slower end that time, Iblis. So, no, you didn't get to hit me. Okay. Finally doing an attack that's different. There we go. That's a big, another big tr chunk of him down. We're right at his noggin. There we go. Halfway done. He's gonna charge up a cool, super cool attack. Throw one of those. And we're gonna get to hit him. But at least I get to do that. Oh, never mind. Some of the balls get to say? Yeah, at least. Okay. Cool. There we go. I'm gonna actually hit. Eh. Hit me in the eye. Oh, crap. That makes me really nervous because I don't really know the exact way to dodge that attack. Oh, he blocked it. What cheap scare. It's not over yet. Don't let your guard down, Silver. Alright, there we go. His entire face paint is off, which means he is now exposed. As a giant lava boy. Alright, Iblis. Not alarm with the same. Oh. He's Bowser! Yeet! Alright. Yeah, Iblis isn't really that bad. There's that giant build crushing building crushing attack that really sucks. But I must say, I do like the design of Iblis. I think it's really cool. That's just a giant flaming like magma monster. Okay. Where are you pulling these buildings from? I that's my question. Wait. Pick him out, pick him out, pick him out, pick him out. Oh, come on. Hey, please, buddy, let's talk. Let's talk about this. Oh, crap. I'm gonna take that you don't want to talk about it. No? Yeah, I understand too. I'd be very understanding as well, Iblis. Alright. Alright, he's gonna go for an attack that's not gonna crush me. At least I can dodge this one. There we go! And Iblis 1 is done! No more Iblis for you! That's not a very uncomfortable sound. But he shrinks back down. That's a cool animation. Not gonna lie. I wish Pokemon Sword and Shield had that.
Looks like we stopped it for now. But it'll just rise up from its ashes again. What's the point of all this? It'll never end. Calm down, Silver. Then tell me what we should do. How can we completely destroy Iblis? By knowing the truth, of course. Just as a flower comes from a seed, or a chicken comes from an egg, everything has an origin. You need to find the being originally responsible for this catastrophe. Is that really the answer to our problem? Tell me, do you know who it is? To fix this present timeline, you need to change the past. But that's impossible! With my help, you can. Because I have the power to travel through time. No way! In order to change the past, you must eliminate the individual who has awakened Iblis, the Iblis Trigger. If I eliminate that guy, will our world be saved? The day of disaster. Here are my records of this event. This was when Iblis was freed and his flames were released into the world. And you have this person to blame. Hedgehog's the Iblis trigger? Blue Hedgehog. I'll send us back in time to the point when the Iblis trigger was alive. Where am I? Blaze? Blaze! I guess we all got separated. This is so unbelievable. Now, I must fight for the future. The Iblis Trigger. Where is he? First, I need to gather information. Indeed, we shall find the Iblis Trigger. Next time on Sonic the Hedgehog, of course. Next time on Sonic the Hedgehog. We're going to be asking around about information and where we can find the Iblis Trigger. See you guys then.